Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Winthrop Coliseum. We're on campus of the Winthrop Eagles. Inside. Ganzi crashes the defensive glass. That's a big defensive rebound. That can really get your team motivated to go after those boards early in the game. Works up top with the ball. Shot clock is at six. They have to put it up. Takes the shot. Mike, this is one of those times where you make a poor shot selection and you wish you could get the ball back and do it all over again. Neighbors out on top. The Eagles have the ball, and what can we expect from this group of kids that's very athletic? You know, Mike, it's a perimeter-oriented team. They like to get their guys going on the outside, and they can really put the ball on the floor and attack the basket with their athleticism as well. Jay, they have a lot of talent, and they're always fun to watch, too. With the touch shot, Ganzi from seven feet, no good. That's the way to finish a defensive possession with a strong defensive board. Matera denied. The Winthrop Eagles were the last ones to touch the ball before going out. Defense. Curry triggers it in. Get that ball back. Defense. Defense. Fletcher with the ball up top. Ball the ball back. passed in deep. Defense. For two. Matera, tough look, doesn't get it to go. Solid defensive rebound. Great box out and really going after the ball. That's the way you send a message early on in a tight ball game. Fletcher with it up top. Fletcher has it up top. Got blocked. It's loose. Matera throws the ball inbounds. Seven on the shot clock. He shoots. Look at the way this kid drives the ball to get open here, Mike. Jay, that's a great move, and it's even a better shot. No question. The defense has to be aware that he can put it on the floor and make the shot. Let's go! Let's go! The Let's Eagles go. have possession Let's to them. Go. top. They thread it underneath. Larman misses that one, clanked Defense. off the left side. Defense. The Radford Defense. Highlanders bring it up court with a two-point lead. Defense. 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 Kicks it back. Six left on the shot clock. They'll have to get one on for the hurry. Curry for the tray. Curry, no good from three. The Eagles have possession, two down. Takes the shot. Sessoms capitalizes on a wide open shot. Fletcher. 
Pletcher up top with the ball. Puts it up. Neighbors will be credited with the assist Ross on that one. Matera. Mike, here's a kid that's got a really nice stroke. He knows his range. He moves well with or without the ball. And he gets to his spots on the floor. He's a complete offensive player. Works with the ball up top. Seven on the shot clock. Fires. That's an excellent pump fake to get his man in the air and create enough space when he can fire off that jump shot. Well, he certainly faked him out of something on that one. Yeah, and then he ran a really nice form on his jump shot. McCulley comes in off the bench for the first time. Markovic inbounds the ball. Fletcher with it out top. Turnover, they pick off the pass. Boy, in a close game late in the first period, that's the kind of steal that can get a run started. Great job defensively. Active hands, active feet. Takes the shot. Gansey misses the jump shot. Boy, Mike, that is really solid. You've got to give a kid an A for effort there and going after that big defensive rebound that hard. Releases. Good shot with the jumper there. And that pass had eyes to set it up. Yeah, the feed really created the opportunity for that shot. The Eagles could tie up the game with a score this trip. With the shot, Works hits the front iron on that shot. Two-point differential between these clubs. Neighbors lays it in. Vernon, the clock runs out. We're heading to halftime. The score, eight to four. ESPN's hot halftime players. Substitution. Warman the got a long break on the bench, and coach decides he wants him back out there. The Eagles are trailing just a little after the break. They seem to be lagging behind, but they're definitely hanging around, too. Half the game is over. What do you see going on? Mike, this team is down at the start of the second half because they didn't play well offensively. They need to really pick up their offensive execution. If they don't start shooting the ball better, their defense is going to have more and more pressure upon it to get stops. And that's a bad position to be in. You've got to put points on the board. Fletcher drops it in. Mike, this guy is not much of a shooter, and he drops that one in despite the decent coverage from the defense. That was a solid play. Puts up the J. Nice rebound, and he made sure he controlled the miss. Mike, it looks like a simple rebound, but look how big these boards have added up for these guys. The more rebounds you get, the more points you put on the scoreboard. That's outstanding work on the glass. It's passed inside. Curry lays it right in. Curry. Takes the jumper. Works from the high post. It's no good. The Highlanders are up by eight with possession. Three-pointer. Curry is on the money with the very long three-pointer. Curry. 
Here's a guy who's able to make a really smart play. He gets the ball inside, the defense collapses, and then he spots the open man on the perimeter and delivers a perfect pass. That's gorgeous. Works up top. Clock down to six. He goes up. There's another missed shot, and Jay, the coach, is really looking exasperated at this point. Well, Mike, he took his team into the locker room at halftime and made some adjustments, but they didn't get off to a good start here in the second half. And this is the time when you can really fall apart. This is when your mental toughness has really got to kick in to stay in this game. Fletcher. The Highlanders get the hoop, and now they have nine unanswered. The differential, 13 points. Works with it up top. Throws it back. Fires. Sassums can't end the drought. The Radford Highlanders have possession and are on a 9 nothing run. The Highlanders are continuing their great play tonight, Jay. It's been a one-sided matchup. They've got a big lead here, controlling the game as we move through the second half. Where have they excelled? Mike, this team has a big lead going down the stretch because they've shot the ball very well from the field. They've gotten good shots and knocked them down. The opponent really needs to find a way to get more pressure on those shooters to try to distract them. The Eagles need to score here. They're down by 13. Has a look. Dahi can't put an end to the run this time. The Highlanders have possession and are on a 9 nothing run. Eagles. Eagles. Fletcher up top with the ball. Puts it up. Matera fired long. The differential, 13 points. He fires. A lot of nice things going on in this play, Mike. First the pass, then the jumper was not the light. And really the point guard saw it all coming right there. He put the ball in a position to score. Curry passes it in. A minute 51 to go. Fletcher has it up top. It goes in deep. The Highlanders score again. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. The Eagles need a score here. They're down by 13. Gansey stuffed that one home. Boy, there was no doubt about that one. The ball hit the floor and left a dent. The Highlanders have a big lead as we wind down this ball game. Jay, what are you thinking? Mike, this team got this big lead going late into the ball game because they shot the ball so well. I think the key was they were ready to shoot as the ball arrived. Takes the shot. Jay, that was a great feat to set up that score. And Mike, that's his third assist. He is really looking for open teammates and finding them. Great court vision. Neighbors with the ball up top. Fletcher for the three. Boy, Mike, that was nice there. This kid may not be lightning quick with that crossover, but used it at just the right time and with just the right timing. He timed the move with just enough space to step up and make the play. Locklear gets the rebound. He now has five on the game. The Radford Highlanders with the ball. 14 to six run here. Fletcher out on top. There's the double team. Splits it with the pass. Inside shot. That was really a flashy move from a kid who's not known for having a lot of flash to his game. And he created his own space on that play. And you have to be impressed with that showing. He's proving that he has more flash than we certainly thought he had. Dahi with the inbound. Time is winding down, and unless you believe in miracles, this one's just about over. No, I agree. With less than a minute to go and the huge deficit, they'll just play this one out. This is where the coach tries to use the game situation to try to teach his team something for a future ballgame. 
Locklear rebounds the ball. Oh, cleaning the glass, Mike. What a great defensive board. Trailing in the second half. You've really got to play hard and go after rebounds just like that. That will do it for us. Your final score for tonight's game, 24 to 10.